all my days he died an extremely painful death We imagine una video call na sister yako and then mtu anakuja na grab your sim my little sisters uko 16 uko 17 uko 18 una fall in love na mgero like a girl boy like you eh mbona umetoa kigero sijasema wana mwageto ni wabaya tena ni wazuri sana lakini dadangu mbona ai bona uko too comfortable na ujui kazi gani umo mwenyewe anafanya Yo, what's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Novi and welcome back again. God will to libonga my own forever together. My man, my man, my man. So hapa hivi Asia alikuwa me fall in love with a guy known as Spoiler. Na chatu ya TikTok vile TikTok inakuanga. Hapo <laughs> juu kidogo naona search bar inasema Spoiler Giz akichomwa kufungua comment section sasa ndo nilijua ukweli wa mambo your man your man mudhiti imeangushwa kumbe alikuwa ameenda kukuibia amekuwa nyamchom so guys hapa hivi mambo ni very clear that this lady alikuwa na boyfriend wake mwenye anaitwa spoiler and alipatana na fate after ameenda kujaribu kuiba simu but hiyo sasa ilikuwa ndo siku yake ya mwisho maze. Little did he know. Unajua tunaambiwa anga unaweza kuwa mwizi yes. Unaweza kuwa mwizi but hawezi ibia kila mtu na hawezi iba kila siku. Hiyo nao ni fact. Hata ukwe ya hu boy. Utaya hu leo kesho but si kila mtu utaya hu. Na hawezi ya hu kila siku. Unajua mtu akifiwa inafaa at least eh, mnampatia ka time hivi anaomboleza nini nini. Yaani Mnamweka na peace ndo at least apate ku heal even if your process ni refu but mnampatia tu amani fulani but now this lady ya pewe amani anatusiwa anachekwa and these are the consequences I remember very well there is a video that was posted on Nairobi gossip insta stories that is on uh, the 15th of July sikumbuki tarehe but from here i can tell it was on the 15th of July but most of us tunakumbuka hii post kuna um msichana fulani alikuja akalia hapa hivi Nairobi gossip na hii video aka post aka dai sister yake walikuwa wana video call we imagine una video call na sister yako and then mtu anakuja na grab your sim juu bado uko kwa video call unajua uko curious huwezi kata utataka kujua eh huyu nani ame grab sister yangu sim nowadays phones ziko advanced kuna screen recording you can screen record a video call and you can use it later so umsichana akatumia akili aka screen record remember guys it was a video call and video call huwa unaonanga hivi so This guy this dingo this alleged mwizi in fact ni mwizi hata siati alleged ni mwizi cause ali, ali snatch akionekana kwa video so this mwizi yeye hata hakuweka maybe chini ama kwa mfuko bado aliendelea kuangalia na the other person not knowing that the other girl was screen recording and they were siblings so after me screen record akatuma Nairobi gossip and then akaambia admin Hello Nairobi gossip kindly share this post to your followers uh, this person yesterday while my sister was taking a walk around uh, Sijui what road kileleshwa this person snatched her phone while she was on a video call with me i managed to record his face kindly share with your followers i really appreciate thank you and then Nairobi gossip club of course ni kubwa mtu mmoja kaona hiyo video call and after meona hivyo akaambia admin huyu boy anakaa familia sana boy fulani wa ongwa ro ladies and gentlemen hapo sasa ndo mambo ilichemka live remember that was on the 15th of july 2025 and then guys this month that for the same same person mwenye alibonga na admin akakuja akaambia admin aje a while back ulikuwa ume post boy fulani alikuwa ume snatch simu ya dem fulani kilimani akiongea na sisi yake video call ikamchukua sura kiasi alimadwa na mob jana pale langata road wakiwa wame snatch simu so sad maze crime hailipi na siku za mwizi siku hizi zimepungua you know sometimes wezi wanaibanga sana unapata mwizi ameiba like 
50 times mpaka sana afika point fulani anakuwa comfortable. Unajua mara ya kwanza kwanza mwizi uko anga rada but akizoea ashikwi kuna vile yeye ulegeza uoga inaisha so kama huyu mwenye alikuwa shua le maze. Who does that? Like kuna jiangalia aje hivi kwa selfie na unajua mtu anaweza screen record but anyway atwezi mjaji wizi ni yake. What did this boy do to be turned into ashes? Are we enabling street warring in the name of mob justice? What if it's a case of mistaken identity and how do you feel harming a fellow human? So this lady on Facebook alikuwa na try to defend this guy on a spoiler. Ju spoiler mazali pigwa vibaya sana. By the way I saw the video of this guy being kicked. Walau si wai kuwa mwizi for real. My friend kama hujawahi biwa you can't understand it but wale tushaibiwa ni ujungu sana <laughs> hapo kwa ujungu sielewi mbona ameandika hivyo but anyway kwanza huyu jamaa kikupata sio kukuibia tu ila hata kisu utakula wacha arrest in peace i just took a screenshot cuz hii platform hawapendi ukionyeshana vitu violent ka hizo na nilichukua ile moment yenye at least unaweza amini what happened imagine this guy was running anaanguka anapigwa anasimama bado anaongezwa and i believe uh, vitu kama hizi wajua sometimes mimi siezi judge mse sana juu ni dingo cuz uh, some of these people unapatanga maybe ni Maybe ali grow up maybe na mzazi mmoja some of them didn't even have parents growing up and others wali wali raiseiwa two feet but kimpango environment ndo ilifanya kuharibu ama peer pressure to in short so that is why me i believe uh, parents pia wana fanyaga wanafanyaga ku play a very huge role kwa maisha ya mse so me i don't know about uh, wazazi wao wa kevona spoiler and i can't judge cuz i don't know them but fact ni moja kama wewe ni mzazi unafaa kwa ukijua a very huge percentage of uh, life ya mtoto wako wewe ndio utaishape akiwa mdogo that's why inadai kuachanua hapa hivi form fulani kama wewe ni mzazi ama wewe ni guardian weza peleka mtoto wako tuition in order to avoid things like bad company peer pressure negative environment unajua right now kids are at home and leo nimecheki hii form fulani fit kwenye unaweza peleka mtoto wako tuition ndo at least asikuwe idol apelekwe na peer pressure nini nini ya na tabia mbaya mbaya zenye zinaweza mfanya story yake ni kuje kuisema ka story ya kevo so guys hapa mtoto wako anaweza pata lessons from anywhere at any time na siku tu yoyote yenye ana prefer alafu hizi hizi classes anapata kufunzwa na watu wenye ni professionals watu wenye wameivia watu wenye wanajua kufunza mtu hadi akue chopi at only 500 bob per session just imagine punch peke yake alafu kuna courses in mathematics physics chemistry biology science na social studies available in both live and recorded formats sasa kitu ili ni nice na hii form ni at mtoto wako anaweza choose anaweza choose gender ya mwenye anamfunza anaweza choose maybe kama mtoto wako ni boy anataka kufunzwa na mwanaume fulani hivi ako fit hivi father figure anaweza chagua kama mtoto wako ni dem ana prefer mwanamke fulani hivi mother figure yeah anaweza choose so that's it ukitaka ku book session for your kids Open my description you can get the number there you can call ama you can email Yeah guys that's it A Nairobi woman identified as AC has shared an emotional tribute to her late boyfriend Spoiler a TikToker who nuried after allegedly being caught trying to steal a phone along Langata Road Despite backlash from some Kenyans criticizing her For morning a man accused of Udingo, AC defended her decision insisting she had every right to grieve. I can't judge him. Only God knows what happened and everything happens for a reason, she said. Hapa nao naelewa huyu msichana anaweza omboleza but unajua lazima kuna vitu zingine tu zikihappen kwa society. Uwezi control vile watu za kujudge. Hii ni kesi ya Udingo na even though ina happen most of these people when you're judge ni victims and by the way kama kuna watu wamepoteza masimu ka Nairo ni maseleb simu za pesa mingi sana kina sijua Belmutua kina 
this guy wa wabebe Willis pia yalipoteza pia Kabugi oh my god Kabugi raises concern over stolen phones from Kenya being tracked in Uganda so squeeze nasikia mtu anapoteza simu ka Nairo <laughs> days later nakuja kusikia kwa Uganda so sielewi na hape na aje guys this is how these guys were buried <coughs> This is so sad manzi. We 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 yani tu story ya umse imeisha hivyo. Now this was the candle lighting guys. Many people kwa akili zao wana reason the same way to come out them so listen guys nimekuwa nikiona story of boys anaitwa spoiler tiktok like kila mahali amepostiwa rip and then kwa comments people are talking like oh mnahurumia mwizi ni nini nini kitu ikanidanganya nienda nikatafute hiyo video na nilipata kenye nilikuwa natafuta oh my days he died an extremely painful death extremely painful i feel like this is one of those situations where there is no right and wrong because i want to side with his friends alikufa vibaya lakini pia ushi patwa na mwizi mahali tu kwa kona kwa giza ah tu atakumaliza so basically vijana uki decide hiyo ndio path unataka kwenda Waenda tu lakini ukishauliwa uko msikuje kusema ati si ni watu wabaya because people do not have remorse for you. Kwa sababu that's the life you have chosen. Umekufa tu in the line of duty. But we it's uh, it's gruesome. I'm really sorry for his family because I don't even know what I will do nikipatana na video am tunajua nikiona ameshia hivyo. It's so sad. Alafu guys there is also this other girl mwenye she went viral during Kibe's prime and akajita Kibe pia ye, but right now akaona information fulani anadai kubonga na wasichana wadogo wenye pia wao ni wa ghetto kama ye cuz pia yeye ni mgeto Leo nataka kuongea na madada wangu wadogo wa ghetto that is where i come from na mwenye masikio asikie na kama pia una sitaki kujua but mi bora nimesema na imenitoka hey My god my little sisters uko 16 uko 17 uko 18 una fall in love na mgero like a girl boy like you eh mbona umetoa kigero sijasema wana mwageto ni wabaya tena ni wazuri sana lakini dadangu mbona ai bona uko too comfortable na ujui kazi gani huyo mwanaume anafanya amengara ma bling bling ako na meno za silver Una mwanangu tu na ndudhi lakini ujui hata kama anafanya kazi ya ndudhi kitu chochote unaitisha unaletewa unajua mume wako ni mwizi kweli do you know that ama you don't care as long as nyumba imepimpiwa iko na kila kitu wao wenyewe hata unaweza kunafanya pale usafi upatane na ile chuma chini ya kitanda unakutana na bunde na una nguvu ya kuuliza huyo mwanaume ni ya nini umenyamaza tu At as long as anani provide ya tena kisirani natokea anga pale penye unaamua kumshikia mimba utaza huyo mtoto kama ule mwanaume hajawawa ni kama swara hiyo mimba hiyo umefikisha miezi sita mwanaume na wawa ndio wewe uzae ah anakutu kio mjane we mdogo you have 16 years 17 we ni mjane kivipi lakini you have every power kubadilisha huyo mwanaume ama ukiona kama hataki ku change before tu ushike mimba yake muonde okay sasa mtu ana wawa na jo mpatikana na uzi ndio unashtuka si kwa najua unajua mtu wako mwenye mnaishi naye utakosaje kujua ni mwizi anatoka anga masaa masa, yani kila kitu ni red flag na umekaa tu umenyamaza mimi bora nanuliangua na chakula kenye naitisha hata nywele ananibaia wig sitoki ndugu yangu he wakianza kusema eti wana wao wezi na wake zao m- tutakufa wengi kweli bora unakubali mm Eri ukazungushe chai town. No. 
unapata huo mdem alikuwa na huo mgondi mgondi akawa wakashandwa akatoka kwa mgondi ndio ameshandwa na ni kama atakao anapenda mgondi anaendea mwingine best yake kidogo kidogo jamaa kashandwa amuolewa na watu watano different men wezi na wote wanauwawa na kazalia huyu na kazalia ule na kazalia ule jamani na waongelesha hapana sasa hii sijui niko na scroll nini TikTok napata kijana mdogo jamani yule kijana ni mdogo inasemekana kila mtu comment section anasema yule kijana ni ulio jowizi na baby mama ameandika hapo baba watoto wangu tena nasikia si mmoja sasa hivi leo kijana amekufa ndio wasiana wote wana post vinya alikuwa bwana yao karibu watano jamani sasa ameachawa na watoto na watoto kijana mdogo jamani we Oh juki tu mwana mmoja anafanyanga lakini anakuja na pesa ile mradi. Wewe unataka pesa. Na unapush na mwizi. Sijasema wezi si watu lakini jamani. Huyo mtu ana life long atakuachanisha hapo na mtoto ama watoto wawili. Utaanzia wapi? Tena mtakuwa ushazoe ile maisha haraka haraka. Wezi endea mtu sasa decent. Ama ukienda mtu decent si mwizi wewe utakuwa huyo mwizi utaanza kuibaiba. Ni ushazoe vya haraka utafanyaje? No what your partner is doing. No what your partner is doing. Utakuja kuitwa ukuja confirm kama mwili ni ya mtu wako unajua. Si kwa ulikuwa unajua ndugu yangu. Ulikuwa unajua. Mtu kazi yake saa tisa yuko kwa nyumba. Ujui. Ujui. Haya, mimi nimeongea ikantoka na nenda zangu. Be careful. Itakuwa mchungu sana uli uanze kuza umezaza watoto bwanako auawe. Uanze sasa kufanya sasa ile kazi nyingine umalando ule ya watoto utafanya nini? Utakuwa na leo unafanya kazi umalani unaekea na mchele wewe utakuwa mwizi sasa. Hakuna mtu andaka life kama hiyo ati ushike mimba bwanako ndo anauawa. Kama ni ajali tutaelewa hiyo ni kitu kingine uizi jamani. Yote tisa kumi ni kila mtu aibe vile anataka. Eh tutulie kila mtu ataoliona mwizi wake hala. Guys the last part was unnecessary. Nani <laughs> but I get it I get it. I get it ni joke ya comment section at yo kila mtu ataolewa na mwizi wake. So guys that's it for today and if you are a parent ama a guardian please we jua uh, a very huge percentage of uh, your kids future ama your, your kids life we wendo unaza shape. That's why right now the kids are at home. Nisha watafutia form fit ya kupeleka watoto wenu tuition. It's in the description. You can call them, you can email them. At least them to talk a square idol aonyeshwe vitu mbaya mbaya. Unajua, hakunaga mtoto wa mkaga anasema mimi nataka kuwa mwizi. It's either ni peer pressure ama tu ni environment. Eh? Ata copy vitu anaona wenzake wakifanya if ako kwa environment mbaya and it's your responsibility as a parent or a guardian to make sure your kid is not surrounded by the wrong people yeah so guys that's it for today see you again in the next video